Welcome to Reading Matters. My name is Vanessa, and today we're talking about town meeting. Facts first. Town meeting is the legislative branch of local government. Think of this as our local Congress, and it is a policy-making body. Uh, it consists of unpaid, volunteer, elected members from Reading's eight precincts. Each precinct is represented by 24 members for a total of 192 elected town meeting members who generally serve three-year terms. Town meeting is convened twice per year, once at the end of April called annual town meeting and once in November called subsequent town meeting. And each session goes for about two to four nights, depending on how much discussion takes place. Occasionally, what's called a special town meeting is convened at other times of year for urgent or time sensitive items that can't wait until a regularly scheduled meeting. Uh, the meetings are held on Mondays and Thursdays and they continue in that pattern until the business has been completed. So town meeting has several responsibilities. Um, first and foremost, they review what's called the warrant. Think of this as a list of legislation that has been voted on by the select board for town meeting to review and then vote up or down on. Um, town meeting is responsible for approving the annual budget. This, is the, uh, this includes the operational budget, think day to day, and the capital budget. Think of this as long-term projects and infrastructure. Um, so town meeting impacts what, when, and with how much money projects get funded. Um, town meeting also approves the use of free cash, which is the town's cash reserve. Um, you'll sometimes hear this referred to as the rainy day fund. Town meeting also votes on zoning changes, so how you can use your property in general and overall constraints, such as the distance of buildings from the sidewalk or property line. Um, other town bodies like Community Planning and Development Commission may have more specific authority, kind of depends on the situation. Um, for commercial and business properties, these zoning decisions impact what type of businesses can be in certain parts of town. For residential properties, um, they can determine what someone can build or add, such as a pool, extension, deck, or accessory apartment. For multifamily housing, um, these zoning changes can affect where these properties can be and the requirements, such as um, the number of parking spaces that have to be included. Town meeting has to approve the buying and selling of town property, approve what's called debt exclusion. These are expenses usually for major capital projects that town meeting has to vote for and approve before they can go on the ballot for residents to vote on. Um, debt exclusions are an extra cost to us as residents above our regular property taxes. You can think of it as a car loan that you pay off for a set amount of time, and when it's paid in full, it goes away. Um, we usually use this um, for major renovations or new buildings. Town meeting also has what's called instructional motions, and this is where the body of town meeting asks another government body, entity, or staff to investigate, investigate and report on an issue that town meeting wants to know more about. Um, instructional motions can also be used uh, to make pro proclamations. So my two cents. These budget decisions matter. Um, how much we spend on schools, police, fire, uh, public health, seniors, maintaining roads, and what we prioritize in terms of town staff. Um, how we balance each of these needs sets a culture for the town. Uh, when it comes to zoning, zoning controls the character of town and how single, um, multifamily and commercial properties coexist. Uh, for example, it affects the development of downtown and how much commercial business and what types of businesses we have in the area. And all of that in turn affects the revenue we gain from those property. Um, the good news is that all town meetings are open to the public and you can watch them in person or on RCTV via Verizon and Comcast um, or on the RCTV Studios YouTube channel. So take a look and let's get involved, Reading. Thanks for watching. Uh, follow the YouTube channel, Writing Matters 01867, to get updates when new videos are available.